Hey collectors, welcome to Star Wars Collected. I'm Jonathan. Today what I have for you is what is normally my most popular video of the year. It is my entire collection tour. Normally this video comes out on May 4th, but I had some COVID, I had some Star Wars celebration going on. So I got pushed off a little bit, but the collection has never looked better. And to find out why, make sure you watch at the end of this video. But without further ado, my entire collection, where it stands, 2022. All right, we'll start here at the entrance of my collection. I'm gonna be doing live commentary on this, so please excuse me if I get something wrong or mispronounce something. I will try to edit anything that I can. This is my budget Chewbacca build. It's a combination of the Ruby suit as well as a Sea Yoda run uh, piece here, the bandolier, and then Tammy Mars of Sweden with a really cool sculpt. He gave me such a great deal on it. I will always be indebted to that guy. He's awesome. We'll move across here you have some sideshow premium format statues as well as some jack specific guys in the back these are uh, you know not very expensive pieces 20 20 bucks something like that on ebay even when they were new uh, but they kind of provide some cool sculpts and uh, you know just sort of tuck them back there in front of our premium format pieces this leia is one that i especially feel like i got a fantastic deal on and love having her in my collection we'll drop down here of course, the batteries are out in this right now, but when you have the batteries in it, it glows blue and looks really cool. We have the sideshow dueling back here. I'm always saying we could all use some more Padme in our collection. I was glad to come in to possession of this statue all not that long ago. Some more Jack specific. Atticus is a brand you hardly hear about anymore, but Atticus made some really cool porcelain statues back in the day. We have the Emperor here and we have Chewbacca. This was my most wonderful pickup of Celebration 2019. It is the Gentle Giant Spider Mall. Uh, just such a cool piece. It was a re-release. It was something that I kind of really coveted beforehand and I was so happy that they decided to re-release it. Sticking with Gentle Giant, we've got some really cool original trilogy pieces here. We have the Dewback with the Sand Trooper on it. And we have the Bantha with the Tusken Raider on it. Got an AT-AT -AT model here. I believe this is actually from one of the uh, the board game type collections, but it made a really cool model. This is the Kotobukiya X-Wing. Duel of the Fate statue. I think this statue means a lot more to me after hearing Dave Filoni wax on about what Duel of the Fates meant to him. And then we have a sideshow piece back here of Asajj Ventures and Anakin fighting. We have the complete Bounty Hunter Kotobukiya piece here. It took a while to get all those pieces together, but some of the best representations of these classic trilogy Bounty Hunters. We have a sideshow Luke Skywalker on a Hot Toys spike thing here from Cloud City. Gentle Giant Raincore. Sideshow Han and Carbonite 1 6 scale. The Vintage Collection, Slave One. Vintage Collection makes some really nice looking ships to make her for some great models. Tucked back there for now is a little sideshow piece with the Scout Trooper on top. This is one of my favorite statues, Ambush on Hoth. And this piece back here is also one of my favorites, the Probe Droid. All right, moving this direction. This piece is a Bail Organa security officer robe or something like that. It was something that was exclusively available to people who are going on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Uh, it's roughly in the movie or at least part of canon, uh, but I just got a really good deal on it. I thought it was pretty cool and being exclusive made it kind of neat too. This is a TIE pilot, which I still need to finish. Uh, he's got a great helmet and I have all the pieces. It just hasn't happened, guys. Down at our feet here, we have my original Boba Fett helmet, which I don't really need at this point, but it's still sticking around. And then we have some, I think two of some of the best helmets sculpts out there. Senate Guard and the Imperial Guard. Speaking of which, he's got his dad right here, full size. Speaking of dad, Darth Vader himself, full size piece. Now this is the Ruby's kit, which means that it's not great, but it presents decently well. I'm excited to get this, what I consider to be a pretty terrible helmet, 
swapped out with, I'm thinking maybe the new Black Series one, I'll give that a try. I do have the EFX one, we'll see that here in a moment, but I kind of like having that one displayed separately on its own. This is the Anovo Stormtrooper kit. Had a lot of fun building that guy. And then down here, we have our Sideshow Rancor Deluxe. What a really cool piece, such a cool piece, such great scale. Next to him is my full-size Yoda. I added this little flute piece on him at some point. And it's gonna get a little complicated here to try to show all this stuff off, but we have a number of Black Series helmets down here, a full-size General Grievous. Again, a little more Padme in our life. Come up here, now I'm not gonna go through each thing in here, I'll just kind of do a slow tilt up. Some really fun pieces. I try to keep things sort of chronological order. Little Darth Maul sculpt up there, Plo Koon. Wedge is almost just sort of up there right now. Send the Emperor. I'll come back down here. Got some solo stuff there on the right. Some of our favorite troopers, a little tribute to rebels over here. Vader down there. And sort of our, you know, Order 66. We've got Rex back there. Ahsoka's about to join him. And we have our Kenobi lightsaber. There's our General Grievous and our Black Series Boba Fett helmet. Some regal robot pieces down here as well. The head of Zeb Aurelius. A Ralph McQuarrie Stormtrooper concept helmet. As well as the Darth Vader Ralph McQuarrie. We have Imperial Officer Cap, which is something that you'll find me wearing at every celebration. And another regal robot piece here. Let's go ahead and go to the original trilogy here. Some Dajaric pieces. This is usually a, a favorite piece. I love how Han is basically floating there. Very cool. This uh, white Boba Fett back here is one of my very first pieces I ever had in my collection. And I don't normally put helmets in there, but I really like how this Rogue One display came together. And over here to our little Hoth exhibit. And up top here we had Edrio Two Tubes. A little Star Wars sign, just in case you forget what you're looking at. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And the world famous figure in Dan. Going a little bit further over here, 2-1-B and Wicket. And we'll come down a little bit here. Got some Return of the Jedi stuff. I really love this, some of this Java stuff. I love this little cantina band. I would love to see like a six scale version of this, but for now this Hasbro piece is pretty cool, I think. This Java and Leia piece back here is one of my favorites in the collection. Hot Toys and Sideshow refused to give me a Admiral Akbar, but this old piece from Kenner looks pretty darn good. And we always need more Imperial Guards. This is a little piece that I built myself just using some Hasbro Jawas and an R5-D4. Wrecker would be very happy to have this stuffy here. Man, I 3D printed this skull a long time ago before I got the much cooler, much bigger Regal Robot pieces. We'll go up here, we've got kind of our Mandalorian case here. I was so excited that they reissued these troopers. They were hard to get before. Some other fantastic characters. Just great looking sculpts. And then our original Mandalorian. And then we got a little gunk droid just hanging out in the back there. So cute. Ralph McQuarrie Boba Fett, 
as well as our sort of concept Boba Fett here. And sequel trilogy, guys, if you're looking to pick up some hot toys, be your first hot toy, try looking at some sequel trilogy pieces. These troopers are relatively inexpensive to pick up and they have lots of posability and guns and things like that. Captain Phasma, character didn't quite live up to the hype maybe, but man, it's a cool costume. This is another little piece that I built using, I think just again, Hasbro pieces. Reenacting a pretty famous scene here with handing over the lightsaber. And then we have Kylo in there as well. And two more gentle giant pieces down here, some statues. This is the Razor Crest from HasLab. It's a very, very cool piece, very impressive. I'm hoping to give it a better place of presentation here before too long. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know what I'm kind of famous for is my wall of helmets. Guys, I don't know what it is, but I love helmets. So we'll go in here a little bit closer. Again, I can't quite rattle all these off. Just sort of do some slow pans and point out some of my favorites. Uh, I love the Galactic Marine one on top, the ARF Trooper helmet's a lot of fun. I don't know what it is, but I love the Bomb Squad helmet. I think that's such a cool use of color. One thing I really like about this area of my collection is the amount of color. What started off as, you know, standard issue, everybody has a shiny white helmet. And as the Clone Wars go on, we end up with a lot more personality. These helmets are a combination of things that I've purchased off of eBay, things that I've 3D printed and finished, things where I purchased a cast and finished them. Um, the occasional Etsy purchase, the, I don't know if I've ever really bought anything off of Facebook. Um, and then some things that are just sort of like mass market manufactured, including something like the C-3PO, which I think looks great because Chrome is really hard to paint on yourself. This thing is actually a Bluetooth speaker, believe it or not. And then here's that EFX. Darth Vader helmet. I think it's got to be one of the better ones out there and I know it's hard to come by now which is too bad but it certainly was a good value when you could buy it at retail. So now we're into the original trilogy there with that last row. This helmet right here, this incinerator trooper helmet, was my very very first Star Wars helmet made by EFX and I actually do not see them come up very often for auction. Um, so I don't know if it's really particularly rare, but it's meaningful to me. One of my current obsessions is X-Wing Pilot Helmet. I have purchased probably six to eight of these Black Series helmets beyond what you see here. And they're all in various states of being repainted into other pilots. Somewhat unfortunately for me, but fortunately for everyone else is that Hasbro kind of keeps picking the next pilot I plan to paint and then releasing it. So then I have to figure out what am I gonna do with those decals. This Inferno Squad helmet, also one of my favorites. I don't really know why. It's just, I think I learned a lot of techniques on it. So it means a lot to me that way. It's just a really cool helmet. Still need a B-Wing pilot helmet. And this was a fun piece to work on. This is all 3D printed. Uh, I still need to, I feel like I need to go in here and darken this up still, but uh, it was fun trying to make everything kind of look like skin, look like leather, all that stuff. Learned a lot on that one too. I know the sequel trilogy isn't always loved by some of the original fans, but you have to admit some of the designs that came out of it are spectacular. And these are a lot of RFX pieces, Kotobukiya make a lot of them. I kind of started collecting these when I was first collecting and then just sort of stopped. They're not really something that I'm adding to at this point in my collection, but they look pretty cool. And down here we have the sail barge, one of the coolest pieces in my collection, I think. Love having it, love the scale of it. It's something that a lot of us have been dreaming about for a long time. Darth Vader helmet down here all melted. May or may not have an update on that here pretty soon. 
And then this is the Anovos Kylo Ren helmet, very cool piece. And then this is my rotating display of lightsabers. Um, I'm kind of over these lightsabers as far as the ones with the built-in blades. I kind of prefer ones that just have hilts in them now, um, but it's kind of a cool, fun display that I uh, built with some 3D printed parts and a couple other things. Coming over here, we've got some art that I picked up in 2019. You'll notice it's still on the ground, not on the wall. There may be a reason for that, and I might tell you later. This is Han Solo in his Empire Strikes Back get up. Uh, one of my wife's favorite photos of me is in this costume. Uh, it is a fun one to throw on at Halloween. It wears quickly and easily, and uh, it's a lot of fun to have out there with Chewbacca. Let's go high and come back down. So these are almost all Hasbro ships that I have repainted, reworked occasionally here and there, and mounted up to look a little bit more like models. And then some of these, a little less attention has been spent on them. This is my Master Replicas E11. We have uh, a metal DL44 in there, Yoda's lamp, a couple other items, Leia's ring, some 3D printed Beskar down there, Han's dice, little Mando grenade. We have some coaxium, Crimson Dawn ring, thermal detonator, the Medal of Yavin back there. And this is kind of our lightsaber display here. We have a Darth Maul hilt. I just got this in yesterday. This is Shakti, and this is not even in the glass. And then we've got some dark side lightsabers at the back there. Jedi Temple Guard, Mace Windu. And then we've got a couple Ahsoka sabers. And we kind of get into some good guy, or at least better guy type lightsabers. First order TIE Fighter, the scale on this thing is so cool. A 3D printed but yet to be finished rifle there for the Mandalorian. Uh, sort of a mix here of statues and ships. I love that uh, Kenobi fighter. Ralph McQuarrie, always one of my favorite concept artists. So I love his work, anything I can get with his work on it. Infus Nest, I also think is a really cool character. I'm really hoping she shows up in Andor. So when you're watching this, it might be later and you can know whether she showed up or not. This piece is from Verizon Wireless. It is the, like the juggernaut type thing or whatever they called it in The Last Jedi. I've only seen two of them ever listed and the second one was just real recently. Again, sometimes these toy ships just make really, really good models. And then we kind of have our Mando shelf here. This is the Black Series Hasbro piece. One of the best helmets they've ever made. I think it looks so good. I've seen the EFX one in person and I was not impressed, not for the price difference especially. Sideshow Grogu here, and this is from the actual maker that John Feveru bought from for them to make. I don't know if they made molds of this or what they did or if they just used this actual piece, but that's you know basically as close to screen accurate as you can get. This is the badge of the New Republic. And this was one of the quickest paint jobs I ever did, and I love it. Um, I bought one of these off of eBay, and it was white, just like the normal Trooper was. And I just spray painted it quickly, and then kind of doused it with water, and put some copper highlights on it. You'll see that there's some blue here and there. You know, kind of did it in the span of maybe an hour or two, and man, I love it. I think it looks so good. And some sequel trilogy guys here. We have Poe Dameron, and Kylo Ren. 
He's actually wearing a hood from the Disney park. So a little sneak peek at some of my Disney park pickups. And we have a clone pilot here. Unfortunately, his little shoulder straps have, have fallen down. So I'll have to work on that. And there's my Infest Nest. This was a 3D printed piece. A whole lot of fun to finish. Really took my time with that. Really wanted to get it right. And then we have a Target BB-8 back there, which is an okay piece. I, the scale I think is off with the head to the body. So I wouldn't mind replacing that someday with something a little more to scale. Maybe I'll get him some other droid buddies. And that's my collection for 2022, where it stands right now. Collectors, there you have it. That's my entire collection as of June 2022. I should say that's my entire collection that is on display. This actually did not include anything from Celebration or from Batu. Those will be coming up in upcoming videos. There were a couple sneak peeks here and there of things that I've gotten that I haven't quite shown you on video yet. So I hope you enjoy those little sneak peeks. Now, the reason that my collection looks as good as it does right now, at least in my opinion, is because we're moving on from this space. This space has served us very well for the couple of years that I've used it for my collection room and it's you know helped launch this channel and uh, but it's time for a new space. So uh, the wife and I, Mrs. Collected, we're actually uh, buying a new house and we're in the process of selling this one. So I had to get the, the room looking as nice as I possibly could. Um, but the new space is gonna be much larger and have a lot more display options. So I am so excited to take you guys along that journey uh, as far as putting new things up, how we display, how we display things differently. Uh, and I can't wait to share all that with you. Uh, just like I've gotten to share this entire journey with you guys uh, you know this this channel started off with a couple of tour videos like this and I saw so much interest in, in you guys and uh, just strangers who were th thought the collection was super cool that uh, it made me launch Star Wars Collected. And now I've got nearly 2,000 of you guys who are subscribed and it just means the world to me. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed my collection video tour. And there is so much more to come, guys. I'm always talking about a big stack of boxes I have behind the camera. Right now it's over in another section and it is taller than I am. Uh, we probably have 30 items that we need to do videos on. So. I can't wait to bring all those to you here coming soon. Uh, thanks again, guys. See ya.